What is a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle? I'm Phil Curry here with another of AutoVista 24's What Is videos. If you want to know what some of the popular automotive terms mean and how certain technologies work, then check out the What Is playlist on the AutoVista 24 YouTube channel. And while you're there, why not like and subscribe? In this video, we will look at a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle or FCEV and also explain the different types of hydrogen by production and which are the most sustainable. There are other methods of using hydrogen to power vehicles, including mixing it with carbon dioxide to produce e-fuels, a topic we have already discovered in a previous What Is video, and you can find a link in a banner at the top of this screen. Fuel cell electric vehicles are zero emission models, which, just like battery electric vehicles, use electric motors to provide drive to the wheels. However, rather than a bank of batteries designed to plug into the mains and store energy, a fuel cell electric vehicle produces its own electricity via an onboard hydrogen fuel cell and high pressure hydrogen tank. The hydrogen fuel cell in effect replaces the battery in delivering power to the electric motors. Therefore, a fuel cell electric vehicle does not have to plug into the mains, although it does need to be refueled with hydrogen at a filling station a process that is akin to putting petrol or diesel into a vehicle, especially time-wise. The fuel cell uses the process of reverse electrolysis to produce electricity. Inside the cell is a stack of individual cells of electrolytic membranes, positive electrodes or cathodes, and a negative electrodes or anodes. Hydrogen is brought into the anode while oxygen is taken to the cathode. The reaction breaks the hydrogen molecules into protons, which travel through the membrane, and electrons, which are forced through an external circuit, providing power to the motors. The electrons are then reunited with the protons at the cathode, where they recombine together with the oxygen that is present. This creates H2O, or water, which is the only emission that comes from the vehicle. To prevent hydrogen and oxygen reacting in an uncontrolled manner, Fuel cell electric vehicles feature thick walled tanks that store hydrogen in a gaseous form. These tanks and the vehicles in which they are placed have undergone numerous crash tests, validating the safety of the design with no hydrogen leaks occurring thus far. It should be remembered that such tanks already are in use in a variety of industries. It is wrong to say that a fuel cell electric vehicle does not have a battery on board. However, this is a smaller unit that does not have to be plugged into to provide power. Instead, it stores energy from the fuel cell itself or from regenerative braking systems, providing a boost to the vehicle when needed, much like a mild hybrid. As the fuel itself does not power the vehicle, a fuel cell vehicle is an electric vehicle with silent running, power output dictated by the motors and zero carbon emissions. It is even said that the water produced from the fuel cell is pure enough to drink. So, is a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle a contender for a sustainable transport alternative? Well, the technology is being developed by a number of manufacturers, including Toyota, BMW, Hyundai, Renault, and Stellantis, for use in both passenger cars and commercial vehicles. Yet the refueling infrastructure is still in its infancy. And then there's the question of hydrogen production itself. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but the way to produce it differs. There are a number of different colors of hydrogen depending on the processes and energy used, but the three main ones are gray, blue, and green hydrogen. Gray hydrogen is created using natural gas or methane using a process called steam methane reforming, where high temperature steam is used to heat the gas together with a catalyst producing hydrogen. This is currently the most common form of hydrogen production, but also expels carbon dioxide directly into the atmosphere, making it highly unsustainable, especially for vehicles with zero emission ambitions. Blue hydrogen uses the same process to create the hydrogen. However, it is seen by some as a stepping stone towards sustainable hydrogen manufacturing, as the process utilizes carbon capture and storage. In this method, the CO2 emissions are not released into the atmosphere, but are stored in tanks for use elsewhere in other industrial processes. This makes the hydrogen net zero, but not a fully sustainable fuel. 
Finally, green hydrogen is produced via electrolysis. This uses only renewable energy as well. Water is split into hydrogen and oxygen, making it a zero emission production method and the most sustainable form of hydrogen. However, it is expensive and uses a lot of renewable energy, meaning it's only produced in smaller quantities at present. Yet the renewable grid infrastructure continues to build and the process may become cheaper and more commonplace with increased usage. Fuel cell vehicles certainly split opinion, with some believing they are the future of zero emission motoring and others dismissing the technology as unachievable for the mass market. It is certainly suited to the long distance driving markets and with the right infrastructure in place, it could mean it works alongside battery electric technology in a two fuel zero emission society. But the mass market for hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is still some years away and costs are still prohibitively high for many, even with continuing development from car makers. If you'd like to keep up to date with what is going on in the automotive industry, then visit autovista24.com where you can also sign up to our free daily email providing the latest information, data analysis and more direct to your inbox. Also don't forget to check out the Autovista24 podcast available on Apple, Google, Spotify and Amazon Music. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss out on any further video content. Thanks for watching.